Today we are talking about the polar bear lizard, Nanuxaurus. Nanuxaurus hoglundi was discovered in 2006 being found in Kikak Tegasik Quarry of North Slope Borough, Alaska, and when it was first discovered, it was referred to Gorgosaurus and then later to the Albertosaurus. But in 2014, it was described and named by Anthony Fiorillo and Ronald Tayoski. The first fossils found of Nanuxaurus was some fragments of the skull and its bottom jaw, with paleontologists reconstructing the skull to what it could possibly look like, where the length of the skull is estimated to be about 24 to 28 inches. The Nanuxaurus lived in the Cretaceous period, about 71 to 68 million years ago, with an estimated length of 16 to 20 feet and being around 1,100 to 2,000 pounds. Nanuxaurus are one of the rare dinosaurs that lived in a high latitude area living in the Prince Creek Formation region. Other dinosaurs living in these parts of the world include of Edmontosaurus, Pachyrhinosaurus, and Dromaeosaurus. These lands include other types of animals, but unfortunately they are unnamed for now. Nanuxaurus is part of the Tyrannosauridae family with its closest relatives being the Despletosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex. Like all the Tyrannosaurids, the Nanuxaurus is a meat-eating dinosaur, also known as a carnivore. The Nanuxaurus hunted in packs, so that it was easier to take down larger prey, with the Nanuxaurus being the apex hunter in its domain, meaning it was a top arctic hunter, where other carnivores of this area were smaller. Nanuxaurus was a dinosaur that had feathers all over its body, due to it needing to keep warm in its arctic habitat. There is no clear answer of what the colors of the feathers were, but most paleo artists have shown the Nanuxaurus to have white and gray feathers to better blend into its surroundings. The Nanuxaurus had evolved into a smaller size, due to the decrease of food supply over the year caused by the colder climate, making it more difficult to hunt whereas dinosaurs like the Dromaeosaurus would have it easier because of not needing to eat that much. The climate in the Arctic was likely a polar woodland lacking ice. During the cold months, the temperature would be 2 to 4 degrees Celsius, where the warmer months would be 10 to 12 degrees Celsius. The dinosaurs living in the Prince Creek Formation would most likely have had 120 days of cold winter darkness. And that is the end of this reviewing dinosaurs episode. Um, it was it was a shorter one. It was definitely shorter than the Triceratops episode, but uh, that's because there's more information, obviously, about Triceratops, where there is less information about the uh, Nanuxaurus. But um, other than that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribing. Make sure to turn on the post notifications bell so it reminds you when another reviewing dinosaurs episode comes out or uh, just any of my content in general. Uh, and yeah, hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye. I, I, I forgot to add one more thing. I forgot to add one more thing. The other thing is, is that thank you so much for the um, uh, support and stuff, you know? Cause my, especially my Triceratops video, because that one has like, 600 views and stuff it's not a lot like it's not a thousand but it's it's surprising to me because i never i never thought that i'd hit 600 like views on one video like any any day i i did not expect it at all but yeah uh thank you so much for uh the oncoming support and yeah now now goodbye goodbye now uh have, have an amazing rest of your day Did you think that that was the end of the video? Cause you'd be wrong. Now it's the end of the video.